all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert my name is john and today i wanted to make an updated guide on my hunting videos so about last year i made a video on how to get from beginner one to a master or guru and over time i think it's still relevant but here's a little bit of a faster one now keep in mind that I think what I'm going to do is more or less on the beginner side, maybe a little bit kind of an investment into it, but I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. And now you could go two routes, the beginning one, as in you could just do the questing and like, you know, how does hunting or something down in the suggested, you could do that and there's no problem. Or you can invest a little bit of silver into some clothes. And then I'm going to be using an artisan matchlock because we're starting at beginner one. So I'm going to show you exactly how I would do it and items you could use as well so i think that like realistically it's not that hard these days it does require a little bit of an investment if you're just trying to power level it but here's what i'm gonna do and i do have extra sets of infinite potions but i'm gonna use regular ones just to show you guys what it's actually like as a beginner and especially if you don't have it uh, it's not a big deal you just buy more and so we also have a logia knife so all my life skills are basically at beginner the reason why I'm doing this as well is because I wanted to keep a boss alt down in the Narcion area just for the rar rar boss when that spawns. And so, yeah, here we are. We're down in the Narcion area. If you don't know where that is, it's down by Odraxia and the hunting field boss. So with that said, I'm just going to show you how we go about doing everything. So what you would do is buy a villa scroll if you can. If you can't, it's not really a big deal, to be honest and we're gonna repair everything make sure everything's good and i would recommend using the exquisite cron meal because it does give back attack damage which is good for the rock turtle thingies the rhinos and um you could also use this if you wanted to like ice i'm starting with an artisan but you could use um a master one i believe if you are artisan 10 which we'll be getting super easily so here's how i do it Logia, Butcher Knife, very easy. Eventually, your goal is to transition into Monos and all that stuff. But anyway, if you had, like, hunting artifacts, this will obviously go a lot faster. Um, we could obviously just put this on the Stella Stone if you want. And then pop more life and XP buffs if you wanted to. It's no big deal. But anyway, leveling up early, very easy. Let's do this. I'll try to... I'll keep this on screen so you guys can see the... Um, xp we get as well so you get xp from the butchering not the actual uh killing itself so you get that butcher watch the hunting xp suddenly it just went up a lot and then so yeah it's actually very easy to do this nowadays and then if you have the hedgehog which is the pet right here uh, sometimes you could get double procs, and <clears throat> that uh, that does help. So if you're comparing hunting versus gathering, um, so gathering you are targeting a specific resource in general, right? And then, oh, hold on, let me lock that. Uh, where is Asian? Oh, it is locked. I just dodge rolled. So, yeah, if you're comparing gathering versus hunting, uh, gathering is obviously targeted, whereas this one, when you're hunting, you get a mixed bag of various meats, and I think they are actually very good as well. So, I think hunting is a very profitable life skill. It does require a little bit of an investment to get into. So, like, we're already apprenticed from beginner one. And then you could do the rhinos as well which uh, I think is a little bit more difficult, but they also do give a little bit more XP. But once you're like getting early on and just trying to get levels up into hunting, um, it's it's not a bad idea to just go into, stay into the Verdir Bucks or the Ears. So let me show you a little bit how we do the Rhinos. It's a little bit tricky. These are kind of tanky, but what you want to do is if you have an infinite potion, you just face tank it. But if you are a little bit careful, you, you wait till they charge you, and then you turn, and then try to back attack them as much as you can. 
because that's the reason why we're using the exquisite foods so you can get the extra back attack damage and then you just um sidestep them and also i do believe that narcion is actually still the best spot to level up now so we got that and then you get a lot more xp from the rhinos as well as gathering so see how we just went up four levels by doing that this is how you do it so eventually you do have to repair so if you have a tent even if it's the free one just to repair your thing it does ver help a lot and i think even the free to play tent which is the one where you don't spend any real money on it i, I believe that does repair everything as well And then if you're wondering like what do i do with all these hides and horns and everything from gathering so what you do is manufacture and then you see all these options over here like the stuffed wolf heads and the taxidermy stuff what you would do is just combine a lot of these things and then you could get a like house item that gives you stats like you know how like certain house items give you ap or defense or hp or something that's what they do the higher levels obviously give you more and uh yeah, it's super easy. So if you're early on, you could stay with these deer if you want to, but realistically, it's not even that difficult. All you have to do is wait for them to charge and then try to get some back attacks in. And if you have an infinite potion, it obviously just makes it that much easier. But I remember doing this back when uh, the clothes for hunting didn't give DP, so you have to be very careful especially with all of that and then they added dp to all of it which you know kind of it's now really good so you see how we just went from like beginner one to skilled one in like five minutes and then we got all this um so yeah you get a lot of different meats which are as good for various things you get a lot of bloods which i think overall is pretty good and you just get a lot of good stuff so is hunting profitable? Yeah, it's very profitable. It's just you kind of like, is it fun for you? That's the hardest thing that I think most people will. You'll do this for like an hour and you're just like, I feel like I should do something else. So hunting is one of those things that I feel like you just have to kind of like doing it. But if it is, it's fun. And then you basically just keep repeating this until you get master and realistically if you are full buffed and everything it'd probably take you maybe like an hour or two and then like yeah you see how i'm just leveling up really quickly and if you're like an advanced player you could just pull two rhinos at once and like realistically you'll be fine but if you just if you're new to hunting and you just want to do one rhino at a time like it's not really a big deal Two rhinos is just a little bit faster, and um, if you had the Rara's heart thing that drops on the boss, basically you see how we get three shots after every reload or a reload. With the heart, you get four shots. It's just one additional. So. Jesus, like this is if you're wondering how to do this. I think maybe does a shy give extra stats and everything i believe shy does so you start at a higher gathering which is slightly better but realistically does it matter no it doesn't and then if you brand it you obviously get more on your match lock so you run out obviously you just drop your tent hit the repair pair these rhinos in if you die to a rhino, I think that's just a skill issue. I don't know what to tell you, but for the most part, it should be fine. But yeah, I think I could be getting more if I just... If I wanted to use life skill food, that also helps. Or if I wanted to use like a 150% and everything, it's super easy. 
But I do think just doing this is a lot faster. It does require a little bit of an investment into the Tet Monos because, or yeah, to close because to use certain match locks, you have to have a certain mastery or skill level of it. So that's one thing that I would kind of recommend. It is an investment, but is it worth it? Absolutely. So we'll get to professional and then we'll just call it a video because you basically just do the same thing. And how much silver you make an hour, it really just depends on how fast you're doing things. If you're doing double rhino pulls or like triples if you want to. And uh, there are quests and like bosses. You know how when you uh, sometimes if you kill a certain thing, it'll be like something is watching you and then you just know where to go find the boss. But other than that, this is basically how to power level yourself up to. A master a guru you go from beginner one to all the way to guru 50 here to be honest and we've actually tested this on our main and tried to test out the new spots because there's one in mountain of eternal winter it's just not as good to be honest so let's get one more level and then Wait for it to charge one more time so we can get the back attack. Oh my dude, this deer just keeps running in front of you. This is like that's just natural selection. If a deer is running in front of your face when you're doing that. Honestly, like if, even if you can't get back attacks, just face tank it. Like depending on how much time you lose. Sometimes it might actually just be better to just face tank it. Oh my god, I just hate that. Okay. So this, in theory, should get us to uh, next rank. Professional. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You basically just keep doing that all the way up to whatever skill level you want. And uh, it's really fast. So hopefully that was an updated video. Basically, if you just brand it, that's cool too. So like, this was my main. Um, I moved it from my main... This is what I used to match master one. And then you just get artisan 10 super easy. And then until then, just buy an artisan match lock off the market. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them. Just buy it. And also, if you don't like enhancing, that's cool too. You can just put an order realistically and it'll fill within 24 hours. But even if you don't, just buy like a, whatever the highest one you can. And then you can force enhance it with Blackstones all the way to plus 10. So either way, it's not expensive. It's guaranteed. There's no RNG involved in enhancing it. You can always force every single part of it. And I think that's cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped. Uh, good luck on all your profits and everything. Get all the meat you can, bloods, and use them for various things. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Before I head out, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are enjoying everything drop a quick subscribe i do make videos daily for people who are looking to get better at the game new players returning players and all that stuff and we have about two weeks left on our affiliate code so if you're thinking about trying out the game or upgrading your game from like the base edition to whatever conquerors or something i use my code john law as well as a coin so if you're planning on buying pearls i get a small portion of whatever you guys spent as well and even if you don't that's cool with me as long as you guys are finding these videos entertaining or educational, that's all that matters. And if you like playing free to play, that's cool with me. It doesn't bother me at all. So thanks so much for all your support, even if you do. I'll see you guys later. Peace.